Hey guys, welcome to Wild Arms 3. This game was just released a few minutes ago, so I thought I would show you guys the gameplay, and I actually haven't seen it yet, so it'll be excited to see. I have played Wild Arms 1 before, and I've loved it. That's the only one that I've played. I haven't even played 2, so... But I don't think the story is, like, connected. It's kind of like Final Fantasy. I thought I would give it a try. It was a dark and stormy night. In the train, huh? Ooh, it's the main girl. She looks really pretty. Sell <gasps> shady graphics. My favorite. She's falling asleep. Uh oh, what's going on? Attention all passengers, we are currently de decelerating from our normal- I didn't even finish reading it, oh my goodness. Uh oh, is that a bad guy? He's just like standing there. Oh god, I've always wanted to get on one of those trains. Ouch! Young girl. I'm terribly sorry. Are you alright? I was in a rush and- Oh, he's really cute. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm not sure. I'm making the rounds to see what I can find out. Until then, please return to your cabin and remain seated. Tony is cute. Hey, you can't- Thanks for the tip. Like, like, okay, I didn't click that. They just like automatically go away. Before I even finish reading it. And I'm a fast reader. So. Oh, somebody broke the chain. Miss, please, this car is off limits. That's because there's something important in there, right? That is correct. And that is precisely the reason why that car is off limits to all passengers. Then if something were to happen, there's a good possibility it might happen in there, right? I mean, look. No, this can be happening. That's impossible. The fact of the matter is I have the key to the car in my hand, see? Well, if it's true that you have the key, then it's also true that the door is already open. I say we take a look inside, we might find more behind the truth we already know. Uh-oh. Thank goodness. Everything seems to be in order. But let me check the crate, just in case. All the windows are boarded up, you sure are taking precautions. What exactly is in there anyway? A treasure, money, gold, diamonds, how about nothing? What are those white orbs? Wow, what are all these lights? Uh oh, oh gosh. Oh yeah. Character selection. Girl in first class. Difficulty one star. A suspicious intruder. Difficulty two stars. A drifter guardsman. Difficulty three stars. Boy who broke in. Difficulty two stars. We're gonna start with girl in first class. Virginia. Okay. That's her name. Two weeks before the fateful encounter. So this is the past.
Virginia Maxwell, age 18. Her life in the village where she lived had always been graced with peace and tranquility. That all changed the day the village was invaded by dummy humans from a neighboring settlement. Her life as she knew it ended that day. Obviously not. However, this was also the start of her journey. There, you've taken everything we have as that you leave here at once and leave us in peace. Oh. Uncle Tesla! Gob gob, tough words from loser. Me teach you lesson. Might is right, so you are wrong and me am right. Me am right, so me am cool. Gob gob. That's a very intelligent conversation right there. Gob gob, me am strong, so always hungry. So me come here for food. So that is right, and me am cool. Gob gob. Gob gob, you are uncool, so you feed me and buddies. That is no role that me decide, gob gob. Me thinks you need new vocabulary. Feed you, we can afford to do that with all. Gob gob, tastes good, we get full quickly. You have no food, then eat some of that, gob gob. Armsmith, are they gonna eat them or something? I'm alright, don't worry about me. Everyone is safe, and that's all that matters. Virginia, where's Virginia? Did she like go in the box or something? I think she did. Cops hide up. Never mind. She just follows them. Okay. Yikes! Rusty hinges. Great. Now they probably know I'm here. But how would they know that? There's no turning back now. I've got to push ahead and prove myself. It's time to fly. Oh. Oh gosh. The device is keeping the door shut. Occasionally you'll need to operate devices or use tools to get past certain traps and obstacles. If you can't make any progress, check the area thoroughly for conspicuous objects. Also, keep in mind that some areas become accessible only after you acquire certain tools. Well, I guess that point. Cool. Okay, so you could change the area. I mean the camera. Uh oh, it's those two pop cards. Whoa, this is just like the first wild arm. Wow, it's very similar. Shoot. Hello. Wow, they miss a lot. Either they have bad accuracy or have high evasion. They just missed again. Cancel. Ooh. Yay. We didn't get a level up. So this is what it's like to actually fight. Only the strong survive the law of the wasteland. All that shooting must have alerted the others. I can't just stand around like this. I had to stop shaking. Control yourself. Stay strong. I'm going to have to fly on my own. Or fly on my hand. That's how you run this guy holding X. A device is keeping the door shut. What device? Sometimes an exclamation point will suddenly appear over your head. This indicates that an enemy is approaching. Quickly press the circle button to avoid an encounter with the enemy. Whenever you avoid it, an encounter, the difference between your migrant level and that of the enemy is subtracted from your ECN gauge. Should your migrant level exceed that of the enemy, you can avoid the encounter without affecting your ECN gauge. 
Also, your ECM gauge will regain one point after winning each battle. You can always engage in battle by quickly pressing the circle button twice or simply waiting for it to begin. Okay, so... Is there another? Oh, there's another door. Okay, how do I pick that? What was that? Up there? Are you serious? Do you guys see that? Wow. Tinder crest. Two tinder crest. Press the square button to fling this highly flammable crest grab straight ahead. The tinder crest can also be used to light candles and torches. Oh my god, no. I can't reach that thing up there. That sucks. So I gotta just only one of the two torches is good, something doesn't seem like right Oh gosh. What? For real? You must up lightly when crossing the rickety floor panel. Press the directional button on the left analog stick while holding down the circle button to tiptoe. Oh, okay, I see. So far, they've missed like every attack on me. Except that one. Okay. At least they didn't do that much damage. Oh come on, getting a level for once. This way. Whoa, what's this thing? By obtaining gem and glowing life shards known as gems, you can replenish depleted gauges. Orange gems replenish the vitality gauge vit. White gems replenish the ECM gauge, which governs how many encounters you can avoid. Each gem affects the gauges of all party members. Oh, cool. This map is so confusing to me. Oh, I gotta let this fire. Oh, this reminds me of how I'm the first one so bad. That's cool. Nostalgic feel. Even though I never played this one, but I love Well Arms. Well, the first one I played. I think like what? I don't remember. Like 10 or something? That was such a nostalgic game for me. And this one is so similar to it that it feels like me. Yay, she leveled up finally. Oh, there's a broken mirror there. A picture of a woman. A Japanese woman. A Japanese woman is in here. Mm. Oh, 
her own Oh, that was from where we were before, Mini Carry. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like there's something up in here that I keep a sharp eye on. Press the X button while holding down the R2 button to pinpoint important objects. If the area contains multiple important objects, pressing the X button while holding the R2 button will toggle between them. What? What does that mean? To turn the wheel, use the X button and the directional button or the left analog stick together. Face the wheel and press the X button to grasp it. Then hold down the X button and rotate the left analog stick to turn the wheel in the desired direction. That's cool. Hey, it's all the valuables they stole from us, so this is where they stashed everything. Okay. Wait, so how does it work? Okay. Okay, I gotta break it, like, not on the wall, because it's the last time I did that. <laughs> you know what happened. Shoot, and I just did it. Duplicator. Item duplicator allows you to open magically sealed doors and treasure chests. Each duplicator would disappear after you. Hmm, what's this? An old scrap of paper lies at the bottom of the chest where you found the duplicator. This photo that speaks of days gone by shows her father dressed in a white lab coat. Wow. Her uncle once told her that her father was a scientist, but the side of him, Virginia, has never known. Interesting. But what is it doing there? Aww, it's baby Virginia. She looks so cute. Wow. He taught her how to shoot while she was like seven years old. Virginia, you like shooting arms? Um, I like shooting with you, daddy. You think I can shoot two arms at once like you? Two at once, that's gonna take some practice. Okay, I'll practice real hard. So teach me, okay daddy? Promise? Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Oh, she's crying a photo of daddy. I thought I destroyed all his pictures after mom died, since they only brought back painful memories. <laughs> that's so sad. I'm crying already. This is no time to dwell in the past. I have to do what I can for the people who need me today. You're on your own in the wasteland. Right half acquired. That's so sad. It's really sad. How they gonna make us this sad in the beginning? Get milk coins to let you save the game anywhere you please. They also allow you to start a battle over from the beginning if you're ever defeated. Gamma coins are hard to come by but are very handy for managing your playing time effectively. The ideal time to use a gamma coin is when you find one in a treasure chest. Okay, so let's use it. Sealed by magic, use a duplicator to open magically sealed doors and treasure chests. Yeah. 
You. You're the one who stole all our valuables. You're the one who brought so much grief to everyone. Yeah. Oh gosh. Ethnistic. Um. No mediums invoked. I guess that's like the summoning, if I remember. Yes. Keep listening. I guess she has high evasion. Oh, I thought you died already. What kind of boss are you? He's still on his feet. What now? I can't back down now. Come on, focus. Stop shaking. Your wings are strong. You gotta fly. Ah! Then a feat of form Gatling, a special technique that can turn the tide of battle. The character will perform a string of consecutive attacks which vary according to the amount of FP consumed. I guess it's like almost like a mini limb break, sort of. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow, that was really cool. Kill him! Huff, huff, huff. She leveled up. Yay. Oh gosh. Now there's five of them. Six. They're still coming. So many. I don't think I can do this on my own. Uncle Tesla and Shout. Everyone. Daddy. Everyone in here. Hurry. Ooh. They're all scared now, because they don't have their boss. <gasps> he smacked her. Poor Virginia. Come in. Did you rest well? How are you feeling? Much better, thank you. I'm sorry to worry you. I must have caused you so much trouble. Oh, don't worry about it, you know? Everyone's waiting downstairs. They all want to thank you for bringing back all our things. Uncle Tesla and Shell, there's something I need to talk to you about. I I want to become a drifter. Oh gosh, look, they're all crying now. My father disappeared into the wasteland, but one thing he taught me was the ability to handle arms. If there's anybody out there, out there in the vast wasteland needing my help, I want to have wings so I can fly right to them. I know it sounds arrogant and it might even be a mistake on my part. Even during this last incident, I wouldn't tell up everyone, but in the end, I was the one who needed help. But even so, I can't turn away from this desire of wanting to help people. When something sad happens, its memory is engraved into the heart. Nobody wants to have a sad memories. Even I know that, so... If my arm is able to help even one person out of trouble... Dear... They're like thinking, why couldn't her father just teach her how to cook or something. <laughs> You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Hmm. Unlike land, the open sky has no roads for you to follow. There's no one there to guide you. You must find your own destination and fly there with your strength alone. That's what it means to be a drifter in the wasteland. If you desire to help people, always make that your destination and fly as far as your wings will take you. If you're ever tired to fly against the wind, you'll always be welcome here. Besides, you are family, and we are proud of you. I'm sure everyone feels the same way as well. At least they're nice to her. Uncle Tesla and Sheld, thank you. And I'm sorry. Aww. I've always believed that anyone who can say their story from the bottom of their heart is both strong and brave. I guess with such a strong heart, you deserve my blessing as well. But I think you should tell someone else too. Go tell your mother in heaven about your decision. So I guess her mom died as well. That's so sad. I wonder if they both died together. Mom used to love these flowers. I see them placed here sometimes, but who could be doing it? Hmm. 
I wonder who. The young girl heads to her mother's grave to bid farewell to her childhood. Her expertise in arms taught by her father bolsters her resolve. That is all she needed. That is all. Her dreams of seeing the world have become her strength and lifts her wings. But the path to the future is often a winding one. It tires some and leads many astray. Arms alone cannot overcome adversity, nor are they the only source of strength. The moment the young girl realizes this, she will truly become a drifter. That was such a good story. Oh my god. I'm like, that was amazing. Like, storyline-wise, gameplay-wise, I love it. So, let me know what you guys think. So, uh, like, I showed you guys the gameplay, and I actually love it. It really reminds me of the original, the first Wild Arms. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this game. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And like this video and share them, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye!